Good evening, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, video that I posted last night um, about the trans channeling uh, energy update. Um, I have a little bit of time these days to actually personally recheck into my vision, um, my dream, things I want to manifest it. However, however I feel called. Uh, I have a sense of feeling something shifted, but I could not tell why. Or I, I, I know the feeling of things shifted, but I want to tap into the energy field to know exactly what's going on, what changed, right? So there are different tools. Uh, if you are the first time come across this video, my name is Gina. I am an energy healer. I'm an Akashic Record Channeler. I'm a trans channeler and also uh, Shaman Jalik Healing. I cannot say that one. Uh, practitioner. Practitioner. Thank you. <laughs> what a word. But I just uh, tap into my own Akashic Records uh, tonight. Just uh, help me to uh, show me what's in the energy around me to help me to have a better understanding of what I'm experiencing. So I opened my record and did some journaling, went through my um, big journal. This is my dream journal. So all the things I want to manifest basically in this journal, I would highly recommend you to have a, a, this book. And um, as this, this book or this journal, when I go in, I read a certain things I don't even know when I put down, to be honest. And a lot of words, when I read that, I'm like, wow, that seems like very organized how I phrase it. But um, t tonight I have on, the record is still open because when I tap into their certain information, I feel like this is not just for me, but also for collectively. So I want to bring these messages over. Um, I'm gonna read or in my heart, in my mind as, as this prayer one more time, just to strengthen the channel when I do um, reading Akashic readings, read the Akashic records, but also consciously um, interpret and bring the message forward. So usually when I myself, I just do it, I write down, then later I will read it to interpret. So when you read the record, try to interpret at the same time, that's a two different system. Um, so give me a little bit of time. By the way, this is a, a different uh, channeling, um, different way of bringing messages through. So last night is trans channel. So when trans channel, I usually don't re really remember much. After yesterday, the trans channeling, when I journal, I can show you, I probably write three, three phrases. And I'm like, what else I was speaking about? I couldn't remember it. Um, but with the Akashic Record reading, basically it's, it will use my own, I will bring messages through, then I will use my own system to interpret to make the message make sense. Okay, so I have to make sense myself too. Uh, so in this way, I actually will remember everything because I'm consciously interpreting, but allow the message also come through me, okay? Okay, we are the... We as a record keepers, um, earlier we, we shared that uh, there are so many things happening collectively. There's, uh, we showed uh, our channel, there's a lot of yellow, this uh, color in the collective. So yellow, uh, one way is confidence, right? One way is uh, you can navigate your own path, being things in your control. How, how to is you have to navigate a lot of conflicts you have to learn how to speak up. You have to learn to build your backbone. You have to uh, speak up for yourself and also uh, protect the people that they do not have the ability. But we're not gonna talk about too much of uh, when people do not have the ability to protect self, but it's more of you are bringing the message through 
to make people aware certain things they are not aware so they do not have to uh, step into the situations they don't have to okay if that makes sense so we also want to mention that uh, in September or in current uh, um, rally right now there are two more two more okay first one is there's a lot of truth to be revealed there's some um, we always say that expect the unexpected so if you are always doing things from your heart and you are stand strong stand clear of who you are you are not worried about people gonna reveal certain things about you that you'll be surprised at all if you have a secret right you have a secret you don't want people to know are you doing certain things you don't want people to know and then, then it tend to be tend to happen be unveiled uh, revealed in September and if you haven't figured out it yet uh, you might see on social media there's a lot of things you're like wow I didn't know about this person oh wow I didn't know about this business and this is the moment of the period of the collectively there's a lot of truth to be revealed so in this month we are our chakra our soul chakra is very active uh, people are willing to stand up uh, the energy is ready and, and I think that's uh, related to a lot of the Saturn and the Mars energy uh, right now um, okay the, another one that that they want to bring through Okay, um, the third one we want to bring up is this, we also see or we also want to share with you is there's a lot of uh, the timeline, it's a very complicated uh, um, system right now in the Akashic Records. Well, what they are showing me is that a lot of people's record are being rewritten okay you already re rewrite your records this is i never i never personally see this many of uh, i don't want to say chaos but it's just a reshuffle reshuffle when you reshuffle things things that are seems like a little bit out of the order or things try to go back to its own place just like i don't know they show me that like when you play just mahjong okay um when it down the one game everything need to go back they'll shuffle it and then reorganize this and then put it on the table so this is in the reshuffling process a lot of you did a lot of work and already rewrite your story myself included so uh and this bring up to another point is that we want to bring up is first of all collectively so many people reshuffling so your contract with each other are some are finished some are terminated some are choose to not continue okay willingly so which means there are also new contract uh, will be made and this new contract has not been revealed yet you almost in a waiting to to see flip all your cards to see what cards you have but you haven't seen all the cards yet so this is in the pause moment and um, the next one um, we want to share with you or I see personally is because my question is I want them to show me that my potential timeline because I realized that it's being reshuffled and uh, certain things I know uh, it hasn't changed but for a certain percentage of the things is already changed shifted and I want to know I want to see what is the big picture or what's the potential timeline by the way in Akashic Records you can see that so that was my question so and I asked them that how how can how can I see the timeline um, so they are showing me that because we are reshuffling we have not yet to show you the cards yet this is actually perfect time to journal and uh, to paint to talk out loud uh, in another way you can daydream okay so this is you are being a magician you are manifest you have all the elements so everything is n has not been born yet so you are still in the making stage you are 
have the ability. We are not saying that uh, when you uh, have a timeline, you cannot change that timeline. You can, but if we already showed you the cards, you try to change the cards, you tell me how hard it is to change the cards that we already showed you, right? Of course you can. If you are a really good uh, poker player, you're really good mahjong player, you probably can turn uh, the table around. However, they are saying that everybody come to this world has a gift basket. And when you use to this big collective reshuffle moment, uh, you can ask the universe to give you a another basket that has all the tools, gifts, blessings, abundance that you can ever imagine. You, if you cannot imagine it, you will not have it, period. Because if your conscious cannot imagine things is possible, you will not see in this reality become a reality. You know, you cannot turn impossible to possible if you cannot dream it, you cannot see it, you can even pretend it. Does it make sense? So we are at this stage of we really kind of like ask yourself, okay? Uh, that's the journal I, on my dream more. Um, is ask yourself what you, if you have everything you have, how you're gonna feel okay feeling is so important beyond everything but if you cannot uh, have that feeling yet because humans are that's why manifesting is so hard for some people is because we are the species you want to see to believe it but universe want you to believe it before you see it believe it so you can see it instead of see it to believe it so it's if you have hard time to feel it now this question going to help you is like if you have everything that you have, the first one, you need to figure out uh, what are things you want in your life, okay? If you can list the things, I list it, all the things, and uh, funny things, this is not what I wrote tonight. Actually, I flipped this page over. Well, actually, it still makes sense, you know? It's still valid. Um, so if you have that all, write down, then on the other page, you're going to ask yourself where you where you love to live, okay? It's not where I want to live. When I say I want to live, which means you have not yet been channeled this energy here. But I can say I love to live here. I love to wear this kind of clothes. I love to have this kind of group of friends or the people you want to interact. And um, after you found a list all those things right down, then you look at those things, read through, and make really tap into your body to feel how your body feeling. Okay? If, if you had all of those things, you also figure out where you live, who you interact with, um, who's the, what, what kind of partner you have, and everything you already listed. You're going to just allow yourself to sit to feel. How's your body telling you? And you describe that feeling and holding on that feeling a little bit longer. This is your daydream part. Do not judge yourself whether this is impossible. You, you know, you, you might have this ego come in to tell you, say, Gina, you know, what you're doing? Why 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 you think it's possible? And acknowledge that, okay? Acknowledge that because your ego tried to your ego feel very comfortable in the current situation because guess what? Because the ego already kept you safe, because ego want kept you safe, right? Keep you safe. So you are imagining something out of your previous energetic uh, field you are expanding your energy ego might be get a little bit freak out a little bit okay so just bo be aware ego coming up okay let's see is there anything else we want to bring through reassess reassess your relationship okay this is the month especially uh, if you don't have any major reasons you need to be going to a lot of people a crowd or things like that don't please don't do that uh, you can but there's a lot of a heated topic um when so many people gathering ar gather around uh, um in the social circumstances nowadays there are few reasons why people gather together people coming together sometimes they talk about other people or they jealous about certain things or they try to figure out each other's move or things like that so uh, there's a lot of 
invitation of going inward to figure out what you want. This is literally the period of time is anything could happen. Expect the unexpected. I think that probably the best caption title I would use for this channel as well. Expect the unexpected. But any unexpected, sometimes they come out of our subconscious. So figure out which, instead of things to to surprise you, you probably can surprise yourself by imagine it, Im imagine those things a little bit. Give plant seed, okay? So when things are coming up, you not be so too surprised. Of course, you like good surprise, right? Let's see anything else. Have compassion as well, okay? A lot of people are going through all of a sudden change right now, relationship, career, business, there's a, um, some small business clothing right now, there's new things that are opening up, so people emotions like up and down, up and down. So have a uh, lot of compassion, it's a cycle, okay? If this time people are going through a hard time and you are not, but we all take turns, okay? Because when people go through a hard time, you actually grow them, help them learn things. Don't you feel it's also apply on you certain time? Because we are, humans are not perfect. We are not designed to be perfect. So there will be a lot of lessons uh, coming through your life at different stage. You might just had a big lesson, so now you are chilling. But when you chill, when you gain the energy, save the energy, my another lesson is on the way. So when people are going through hard time, don't laugh at them. Uh, don't uh, think, oh, they deserve it, whatever thing. It's just like, well, I hope they learn something from this lesson in one way or another. So uh, we do not need to go, to go through the same road two times, okay? Well, we want to make our time count in this world. So if you're interested to have... Uh, a one-on-one -on -one session of uh, Akashic Record Channeling to uh, clear to see your past, uh, your, you, your, your gift, um, your past life, your contracts. Uh, feel free to reach out. You can um, find my information on InnocenceryHealing.com or email me InnocenceryHealing at gmail.com. And um, I wish you have a great evening and I hope this information help helps. And I love you and take care.